All right, everyone. Welcome back. Hopefully, I'm in view. All right, uh, I'm gonna do a little batch of baits here. Um, uh, I ain't shot this mold in a long time. I was living in Scottsboro uh, the last time I used this mold. It's the uh, two cavity. Um, I forget what they call it, but basically it's the Biffle Bug uh, Angling AI mix this mold uh it's pretty much just like the biffle bug i'm not sure uh exactly what a angling ai call it but anyway gonna make up a few of those um just something i hadn't done in a while um do a recipe i haven't done in a long time uh, just red bug very simple um start out with lure works um cherry red Gonna use some um, bait plastics, red, um, then some large, medium, and small green flake. Um, anyway, we're gonna dive right into it. I already got the plastic heated up. Uh, I'm gonna do I, well. You can tell I'm rusty. How about we turn this camera around so you can see what's going on? All right. Um, about four drops in it. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We'll do twenty drops of pretty much each. Just and everybody has their own, you know, version of, you know, their own stuff. This is my, you know. When I make this color, this is what I use. So, one, two, three, four. Pretty much 20 drops of each. Um, that's for two cups of plastic. If you were doing one cup, just half that. And you can thicken it up, make it as, you know, Thick or make it as translucent if you want. Um, anyway, that looks pretty good. I might add a couple more drops of regular red. One, two, three, four. Do four drops. Like I say it ain't nothing's ever dead on. You can just look at it, and, and that's about what I want to go with. All right. Do some large green. One, two, three. We'll do four scoops of large green. And you can put any color flake uh, you want. Um, it really don't matter. It's it's whatever you want when you're making this kind of stuff. So. And do the same amount of medium. And only two scoops of the small stuff. Uh, so we're just going to put a quarter of the green. And like I said, you can do any color flake. I honestly started to change it up and just do a little bit of black and maybe some gold, but I figured I'd stick with what my recipe is. Yep, now that looks good. That was real good. I could make it a little bit thicker, but I think that's going to be good. Um, when I shoot this first batch, if I want it a little bit thicker, I'll add a little touch more to it. But uh, but right there, I like I, kinda, I like how that looks. Let's test it. All right, we're in a good temperature. Get where you can see. And don't pay attention to the TV in the background. I had it for noise and hit the mute button. I 
have shot these molds in so long. I don't remember if I need to shoot them fast, slow, hold pressure. I mean, when you're shooting a particular mold often, man, that looks good. When you're shooting a mold, you know, regular, you you remember. Or if you shot one a long time, I've only shot this mold just a handful of times. Um, right after I first got it. So, all right, we'll let that sit for a few minutes while I talk to you. Um, actually just got back, um, late, late last night from vacation. I've been gone, um, oh, uh, let's see, I was, feels longer, but let's see, eight days, um, yeah. I was um, gone for eight days. Uh, went to Alaska, um, Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, enjoyed it. Uh, it was nice. Um, went and done some fishing. Um, caught some salmon. I don't know all the breeds of salmon, but uh, I did catch a sockeye and some other types of salmon. And then um, caught a big nice big trout um some smaller fish like i say there to me they all look the damn same uh so i don't know the species so don't uh you know that's my bad i honestly don't know them but anyway it's beautiful uh water is crazy clear um it's nice um i had a great time it was actually it's hot as hell over here. you know it's here it's hot i mean it's it's still scorching, but uh, the hottest day we saw, it got to right at 60 degrees. Every day was pretty much in the mid to low 50s. Um, we had one day where it stayed around 49, 48, 49, um, which to me was cold. I was wrapped up, you know, big time. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a wimp when it comes to cold, but I had a great time. Uh, Anyway, done some fishing, uh, went fishing one full day, uh, made a, a full day of it, um, enjoyed it, went on a glacier tour, which I actually enjoyed that, I mean, the glacier, seeing the glaciers was pretty cool, you know, it was alright, but uh, I mainly enjoyed just seeing the scenery, you know, um, a little bit of the wildlife, um, the boat ride was, you know, nice it was just pretty cool and relaxing sit back watch um the wife she enjoyed seeing the the glaciers and everything so that was nice um uh, trying to think what else we did um just went exploring i guess you can say went on a train ride went and done some well watching i mean just vacation um uh, ate too much so got to get back on track anytime you go on vacation you're gonna you're gonna eat a lot of foods that you normally wouldn't eat so anyway um just got back late last night um uh, so anyway let's check these out see what they look like start that up and what better way i get back start trying to get everything situated and I said well let me make a video yes now that's that is just about spot on for me um, you know everybody has what they want to see but that is about spot on not I'm trying to see not too much flake just the right amount um, trying to get where you Looks good. Looks really good. I'm I'm happy with that. All right, let's set that to the side. Oh, actually, um, I'll show this one more time, then I'm gonna pause it, and we'll be back in a little bit. Yeah, these molds shoot really well. Uh, they're very, very good molds. The only difference I really see, and I might have explained that in the last video when i done these uh hell a year or so ago the little legs i wish they had like a little you know flange on them to kick a little bit more but the way they're shaped they do a lot of kicking um anyway it's a great great little bait um let's 
temperature. And that way I don't drag this video out extremely long. I do have a, a, a driven CNC. They actually redesigned their, what they call their MF crawl. They got a four inch and a three inch. Um, they did a redesign and I'm actually, um, I've ordered the three inch, um, waiting on it to come in. Um, like I say, it's a redesign. It's, they changed it up just a little bit, uh, from what I can tell by the pictures. Um, the body shape has changed just a little bit and the little appendages, the legs on the side, they changed that up a little bit and the flap around the crawl, they made it more pronounced, like more where it would have more kick to it. So, um, anyway, um, I bought a three inch just to check out and see, you know, how it is. Um, and when it comes in, uh, like I said, he, I'd contacted him, talked to him, and uh, he was in the process of trying to redesign it, and then he sent me pictures of his final design, uh, actually yesterday, uh, yes, early yesterday morning. So I said, yeah, it looks good, and we're, like I say, I placed an order for a six cavity, so when it comes in, I'll do a little video of it, and show what it looks like um you know i started to do a a custom crawl mold but i mean there's no need i don't you know i don't sell on make them sell no more um and there's really no reason to spend that kind of money having a custom mold made just for my personal use not at all um anyway we're gonna show this one real quick what cool down what I'm gonna do is I'm actually planning on making two different colors so I'll I'm showing this one here and then I'll shoot the rest of that cup make some and from there I'll mix up a new batch and we'll do a different color I'm just gonna do a, a, a motor oil with some black and possibly silver um, I'm not a hundred percent sold on that I'm gonna put black in it for sure um, just a light amount of black and then I'll let it, basically I'm going to look at it and say, hey, do I want silver or something else? You know, I might decide to put something else in it, but uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. A lot of times I'll, I'll figure that part out once I make it. So anyway, we will have a little batch of these made and whew, it's hot. I would open this garage up, but. We just had a, a good rain shower come through and it got hot. Uh, the humidity went skyrocket. And I don't wanna turn the fan all the way up because it drowns out, you know, the video a little bit. So just waiting. Um, anyway, let's check this out. It should be ready and then Y'all will be good to go because if I keep on running my mouth, this video is going to be forever long. Let's see if we can keep one side in the mold. There we go. It always looks good when you have them laying in the mold like that. Yep. Looks nice. Alright. From here, you've pretty much know what they look like. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it, shut it down. I'm gonna run uh, this batch out and when I get the plastic heated up, we'll come back and do some motor oil. Oh, on a secondary note, while I was out uh, on vacation, I did order another bucket of plastic. I was getting low. Uh, it's been a long time since I've ordered plastic. So anyway, we'll be right back here in a little bit. All right make up some motor oil and this right here I just basically put it in until I see the color I want um, so I don't even worry about drops um, I just go for pretty much what I want and 
how thick I want it to be. Um, the motor oil is just one of those colors. Sometimes I want thinner, you know, sometimes I want it thicker. It just really depends, and it depends on the flake I use. Uh, for this batch, I want to go with a little bit of black, not a whole lot. Maybe a scoop and a half, just a tiny little bit. And then from here, I'm going to decide if I want to add silver or gold or, you know, just... Add a little bit of silver and I might, I might actually hit it with something else. And small goes a long way, so one scoop goes a long ways. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Let's see. Because I don't want to do too terrible much to it, but at the same time, I want to. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to add a very, very small amount of hollow gold. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that'll work. I'll give it just a little bit of a hollow shift. Alright, I like that. Let's see, I might give it one more little touch of black. Do a little bit more than what I originally planned. I'm going to say, this is like build a bear. This, when I do colors like this, I just pretty much start and see what, how I like it. Right there looks pretty good. I'm gonna do one run. Let's check this. 297. Make sure you can still see what's going on. first batch if you want to thicken it up you can I'd rather go a little light first and then decide to thicken it up then you know go start out too dark so this is gonna be pretty close to what uh this will be pretty close to what I want I like say I might add just a small touch but I think I think that's about spot on for what uh what I'm looking for all right there we go. I am tired, if you can't tell. Um, flying can suck. Um, all of them getting on different flights. Um, I actually wouldn't even be here by now because our flights, we, uh, we fly, uh, we start at American Airline from here Dallas, Dallas to Houston, Houston to Seattle, Seattle up to Anchorage. Um, we was on American Airlines, then from Dallas to the rest of the way was uh, Alaska, Alaskan Airlines or something like that. Uh, but coming back, the when we got to Houston, everything else, our next flight was going to be like delayed, and that was going to put us late getting on the flight in uh, Dallas and the next available was uh, they might would have some uh, 14 or so hours later and that was no guarantee so we ended up just going to uh, United and uh, luckily they had a flight going uh, out from Houston straight to um, Huntsville which it was a very small plane, very crowded. It was just a last minute thing just to get us home, uh, which sucks. Uh, but now we gotta wait for the airline since it was, um, you know, they couldn't get us home. We gotta wait for them to refund us that money. And 
that is very expensive because it was like a thousand dollars just from Houston to here on that other flight just to get us here. So sucks. Anyway, um, glad to be back. I had a great trip, but uh, very tired. Uh, the time difference uh, threw me off a lot. It was a three-hour time difference, so I didn't sleep much at all because it was getting dark close to 11 o'clock so um and then it was getting daylight like around five o'clock in the morning it'd be starting to get daylight so i was not getting very much rest uh which i'm used to that but yeah, you know it takes a toll on you um especially last uh yesterday you know i've been up since we had to get up and head out to the airport like two o'clock in the morning and then I didn't get in last night. Uh, I finally got home and uh, went to bed last night about 1.30. So yes, yeah, been a long, long go around. Uh, that's why trips like that, yeah, I will not take often at all. That was actually my first time on an airplane. You know, I've took trips before, but uh, as far as flying to locations, that was my first um, experience. Um, Anyway, let's check these out and then we will we will wrap this video up. See how these look. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I might hit it with a couple more swirls, but uh other than that other than that that's pretty good. I know the TV in the background might be a pain, but Try to see. Looks good. Let's do this. Let's see if we can do this one where it stays in the mold. Oh, somewhat. There you go. Looks good. Alright, what I'm gonna do is actually just uh, go ahead and wrap it up. That way the video ain't terribly too long i'm gonna run a uh i'm gonna run this batch out do them all um anyway once that other mold comes in i'll definitely do a video with it and um see what kind of colors i decide to do it i mainly bought that smaller mold uh for trailers um i know i've mentioned it before i personally i do like uh i like having a variety of different trailers to use um Anyway, so once it comes in, we'll do that. They really wouldn't know teaching in this video. I used to do a lot more, like, showing, you know, stuff. But anyway, that's the video. We're going to wrap it up. If you have any questions, um, suggestions, um, things you want to see, there's how many of those we end up making, if you can see the tray. So... Uh, I'll probably make the same amount. I'll run it until they're to this, you know, it's gone. Um, anyway, stay tuned. We will catch you next time. Thank you for watching.